Welcome back to Strategy. Today we're going to do Timu Hall number six or seven or something. I'm not sure exactly what, but this is mostly uh, this is mostly shelter, shelter and sleeping stuff. So uh, let's just start with another roll. I got another roll of paracord. This is nine strand and I have used about a little over a third of it. So this is 100 meters, nine strand paracord for 15.48. I've used a bunch of it. I've actually been putting, or making, making things. So I've got some ridge lines, various lengths rolled up here. And I made a bunch of these loops on carabiners that I can make, make prussics with. Got a bunch of those in here. So I have been using this stuff like crazy. And uh, I have taken it out on a camping trip. I'll put up some B-roll. So there's item number one, the paracord. Awesome, awesome price for 100 meters of paracord. Next up, I got this Life Bivy. It was, it was 548. I haven't, you know, I haven't taken it out. This, oh wow, it's even got a little whistle on it. Let's see if it works. There you go, you have a little whistle. Oh, yeah. It's similar to what I thought it was going to be like. Very thin. I was hoping it was going to be like mylar, mylar on the inside. Here, I'll hold it up to myself, see if it's even long enough. Hey, it's taller than I am. Maybe we'll go test this one out in the wild. Now, let me roll this back up. You know, it's very thin. It just feels like feels like a, a trash bag almost. Not not quite as stretchy, but definitely something you could just possibly keep the weather off of yourself. <clears throat> keep you out of the rain. Maybe retain a little bit of body heat. Maybe you. Oh, it does have mylar on the inside. I was opening it. I was trying to open it from the wrong end. So yeah, it does have that reflective surface. So that should reflect your body heat back toward yourself. It's got a pretty decent little stuff sack. I'll toss this one out of the way. Let's see, I got two camping mats and I think I put the big one in the small bag and the small one in the big bag. I did use these a couple weeks ago on a, on a overnight or a, a two night trip up to the Uintas. And I used these as a ground mat and I used this camping tarp. There's all the, all the hoops. I did use that camping tarp with these and my wool blanket and I, and I spent the night, two nights in these. So they, they did work as a ground mat. They said they were Oxford or Oxnard cloth, something like that. But they are not. They are very, very plasticky. And the larger one, well, I think this is the larger one in the smaller pack. Uh, it was $9.98 and the, oh no, no, sorry, the small one was $9.98. The bigger one was 11 something. But they did work good and we, we ended up using one of them to keep the rain off of my off of my brother's tent. We got a lot of rain, some really heavy rain for a couple hours. But that is definitely not a natural material. It is kind of heavy duty. So it does work good as a ground mat for a tent or just to sleep on. It does have grommets. I believe it has just the corner grommets. Yeah, so there's all four corners right there. So it just has the corner grommets. So this one is almost big enough for me to sleep on without my feet hanging over it. Not quite, so I did use two uh, one of the nights. One of the nights I just used this. My sleeping pad gave me enough 
coverage with my feet. But on the second night, I used both of them because we did get a lot of rain. I had to put them up over a clothesline to let them dry out a little bit because they did soak up just a little bit of water. So there are the ground mats for about 10 bucks and about 12 bucks. They're a slightly different size. One is square, so the, the smaller one is square and this larger one is rectangle. So a little bit better for a ground mat. So this camp tarp was $22. It's a good stuff sack. I rolled it up kind of funky, but it doesn't have any, it has loops on every corner and a loop on every, on the middle on every side. It doesn't have any going down the center, down the ridge line, but it is, it is reflective on the inside. That actually, I could feel a little bit of the heat reflecting back down on myself and I'll put a video up of the shelter that I built. It was kind of like a, a modified arrowhead or uh, I don't know exactly what kind of shelter it is. It's kind of like a, a forest tent, forest tarp tent, kind of like an arrowhead if you know, I'll, I'll put some pictures up. But this, this is 10 by 10 or three meters by three meters. And it, it held up for camping really well. We also used it to put up to just use it as a rain fly. It's so like I said, around around lunchtime we got rained on, so I just hurried and tore my shelter down, threw my sleeping my sleeping bag and my wool blanket and pads and my brother's rig, and then we used this to set up a a, a little lean to so that we could cook and eat our lunch under this while it rained. It's kind of nice. This is one of the coolest things. That I got on this one. And this one was a little bit more expensive also. It was, they call it a travel blanket on Timu and it was $26.28. $26.28. Got a nice stuff sack. I'm sure it's synthetic. Yeah, it definitely does not feel like down. It's a little bit thin, but it has grommets on every corner and it has See if I can find it on one of these ends. So it has these, these clips so you can wrap it around yourself like a cape and then clip it in. I think I'm doing that upside down. There you go. So you can wrap it around yourself like a cape and clip it around your neck, over your shoulders, around your neck. And it has another one on the bottom, I believe. Let's see. This would be the other side. I don't see them on this side. Maybe it does only have it on one side. I don't see it all down this side either. So, so yeah, it's only got it on the one side, but still really cool. Just nice, nice little emergency blanket to keep in your truck or just take you on, take with you on the warmer summer camping trips. I mean, this just a few weeks ago, we, we saw temperatures as low as uh, 35, 36. So I definitely needed my wool blanket and my, my larger sleeping bag just to be nice and comfy. But in the summer, or just for an extra layer, this blanket would be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, we'll stuff back in there pretty good. I guess this is just a stuff sack, not a not a compression sack. I don't know if I called it uh, called it a compression sack earlier. So uh, the second to last, I'm saving the best for last, is this. Uh, they call it a survival. What did they, what did they call it? A survival scarf. So it's just got a few paragraphs you can read some food, let's see, make sure I'm in frame here. Like food, fire starter, when you lost your bearings, what to do when you get lost, water. I don't, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Maybe I will, spagook, spagook, paracord. And then how to deal with lightning strikes outdoors. So that, 
I mean, that thing, let's see, that was $3.15. So now the star of this one is a tri-zip backpack. And this thing is huge. In fact, just for fun, turn stuff all these two ground mats with the blanket and the tarp and the bivy and the paracord and we've got oodles of room here. This tri zip tri zip thing is kind of cool. It's a neat design. So I did use this on my on my camping trip. I I put my wool blanket, my sleeping pad, the tarp, the pads, every everything for sleeping and making a shelter. I put inside this backpack, and it does have the compression straps there at the top. I guess I should mention there is a zippered pocket on the top. It's just that big right there. So you can put some snacks or something up there. Another compression strap down here. So it's got two water bottle pockets on the side or I use them to put gloves in. And then yeah, there's a zipper pull. Let's see if I'm even down that well. There's a zipper pull on the bottom to counter the zipper. I don't know if there are any. Oh yeah, there are some up top. So they're just to grab onto when you're pulling the zippers. Kind of a cool, cool little backpack. It's actually really thick material, thicker than a lot of my other backpacks. Got a decent handle on it. Looks like it's nice and beefed up right through there. This this piece of webbing is is pretty thick. It's a good heavy duty piece of webbing they've got across there. The loops across the the shoulder straps, your uh, chest clip, and the uh, oh, it has pretty good padding on it. I mean, I didn't really hike with it. I just threw it on my back to go out to the truck and then from the truck to where I was setting up camp and that's about all I took this with so this the waist strap is really really small even if I got the last few inches out of that I don't know if you can see but this but that whole strap one side is like barely a foot barely over a foot same with the other side so I can't quite get this around my waist I'm not soup I'm not I don't have a big gut but you'd have to be like 4% body fat to strap this thing around your waist. There you go. Like, it's pretty small. <laughs> but it is a pretty cool backpack, and for the, I mean, under 20 bucks, under 20 bucks and it holds all, all of my sleeping and shelter stuff. It was a pretty cool find, 1748. So it's nice and thick, got tons of the webbing on there, tons of the molly webbing. I guess I should mention it does have two Velcro, two, two of the uh, morale patch places. They work. So yeah, Timu haul number six or seven, somewhere around there. There will be another video uploaded in less than a week of my next Timu haul. I have all the stuff and I've taken some of it out, tested it out. So I will be doing another review, another, not review, another Timu haul in less than a week. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, get notified if you want to get notified on the next like four Timu haul videos. They're all just going to be back to back right in the next few weeks. So get notified, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching Strategy. See you in the next one.